In this video, we'll cover eight key pieces of info that you'll need to help purchase the right camshaft. But first, before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to the Summit Racing YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our tech content, how-tos, project builds, features, and so much more. The number one piece of information you're gonna need when choosing a camshaft is your vehicle's intended purpose. Is it mostly a street machine, a drag strip warrior, or maybe even a mix of both? For the track, roller cams and solid lifters are the go-to. They provide high RPM power. On the street, a flat tappet cam and some hydraulic lifters are a little more quiet and maintenance free for low and mid RPM performance. Next, consider your vehicle's weight. If your vehicle's on the light side, you can run a bigger cam, meaning it has a longer duration. Heavier vehicles need a cam that delivers more low end power to get things moving. Then you need to look at your rear gear ratio and your tire size. Higher axle ratios work well with bigger cams, while low economy gear ratios need something milder that makes more low end torque. And your tire height matters because it determines your final drive ratio. Transmission types matter too. Automatic transmissions need a cam that works over a wide RPM range. The cam's power band should match the torque converter's stall speed or clutch dump RPM. For manual transmissions, you can pick something that makes a little more peak power. And don't forget about engine size and compression ratios. A cam that works well in a 350 cubic inch engine might behave a little differently in say a 383 stroker. Keep in mind that the more duration a cam has, the more compression is needed to maintain proper cylinder pressure at low RPM. Airflow is another key factor. Your cam needs to work within an airflow limit of your cylinder heads, intake, and exhaust system. Do you have power adders like a supercharger, turbo, or nitrous? Then they require specific cam profiles, often with a wider lobe separation to take full advantage of the increased cylinder pressure. Lastly, take your rocker arm ratio into account. A larger rocker arm ratio increases valve lift on an overhead valve engine, so make sure your cam is matched to your specific rocker arm ratio to avoid engine damage. Now that you've got the basics down, it's time to start shopping for your camshaft. And remember, companies like Comp Cams, Iskadarian, and yes, the sales team over here at Summit Racing have a wealth of information to guide you through the entire process. Whether you're building for the street or the strip, choosing the right camshaft will make sure your engine runs its best. So until next time, I'm Justin with Summit Racing, happy cam shopping, and thanks for watching.